You know, I'm a pretty old school guy, especially when it comes to Nintendo. You can see the consoles in the background. So I've always been skeptical of uh, mobile gaming, you know, playing games on your cell phones. Uh, but there's no doubt that mobile gaming has become a huge part of the market. I think almost more than uh, almost 50% of the market at this point. It's brought in a new generation of gamers. And uh, it's also created a lot of unfortunate practices that we all love to hate. You know, the loot box mentality, time gates, things like that. But the industry's made a ton of money on it. And Nintendo appears to be doubling down right here on their mobile model with the news today of Nintendo and DNA forming joint venture company Nintendo Systems. The new subsidiary will open in April, April 2023 focusing on research and development to improve Nintendo's digital business. So uh, Nintendo and DNA are working together on the formation of a joint venture that will aim to strengthen the digitization, wow, it's a mouthful, of Nintendo's business. The new company will be called Nintendo Systems and operate as a subsidiary of the platform holder. Since Nintendo's providing 80% of the capital required, Nintendo Systems Remit will be research and development as well as the creation of value-added services. Oh, man. <laughs> that, that really sounds exciting, doesn't it? I'm being completely sarcastic about that. Um, not really a surprise, though. You know, That's really the whole point of the mobile venture. You can capture a new audience that doesn't really uh, understand you know, what it is to you know, purchase games, own them, and not have to worry about DLC constant updates and all that kind of uh, fun jazz. But not surprised to see this, you know, the popularity of Pokemon Go, Mario Kart Tour, seeing a lot of those maps and some of the features from both of those games being incorporated into the mainline Pokemon and Mario Kart titles on the uh, Switch console. So you're going to see more of that crossover. And honestly, with the next generation of Nintendo Switch, I'm sure you're going to see a lot more of that integration. Voice chat is already there with the uh, Nintendo Switch app for Splatoon and other games. So you're going to see a lot more of this in the future, and hopefully that experience will improve. Since 2015, Nintendo and DNA have produced six games together. Mitomo, Super Mario Run, Fire Emblem Heroes, Animal Crossing, Mario Kart Tour, and Pokemon Masters. Fire Emblem is by far the most successful, having been the first to reach a billion dollars in revenue. However, the other titles have not been quite as lucrative with Mario Kart Tour and Animal Crossing making just under $300 million. So, what do you guys think? Are you excited about this? Do you play any of Nintendo's mobile games? Uh, are you against, you know, in the entire mobile, mobile gaming space? Are you like me, a crotchety old man, and you stick to your consoles and PCs? Let me know in the comments section. I'd love to hear your opinion. And uh, yeah, I'm Rolo, the Puerto Rican Pistolero with Geeks and Gamers Play, and I'll catch you on the next one.